Hey, what's up everybody? It's Drake Welton here with 24-7 Filmmaker. If you're looking to get that wide aspect ratio, the 21 by 9 on YouTube, uh, let's dive into DaVinci Resolve and see how to do that properly. I have a couple different ways that I think is a lot better than some other things that I've been seeing. All right, so I have three different clips. I have a 1080, a 4K, and a 6K. Let's let's start off with the 1080, drag the 1080 footage in here, and let's go to the settings in the bottom right, click on that cog where it says project settings. You're gonna see 1920 by 1080, and what you wanna do is just change the 1080 to 800, go to image scaling, and then go into input scaling, and it should say center crop with no resizing. Hit save, and look at that you are already in the widescreen aspect ratio and ready to go. Now you can always go up to transform and then just kind of move the position around if, if you know, you're looking to reposition the footage a little bit because it, it is going to cut some of the footage off. There's, there's no doubt about that. And so the other way that we can do this is we go into here, go to 800 again and hit save and look, so we got the black bars there. So we can do this with an adjustment layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the toolbox and effects, uh, drag an adjustment layer above your clips, and then what we're going to do is go to the zoom. So click on the adjustment layer, go over to inspector, go to zoom, and on the Y axis just zoom right in. And then all the clips that are below this adjustment layer will now be affected by that zoom on your timeline. So if we just go onto here and hit delete on it, you can see that the black bars come back. Now the other way to do this is just to click on the clip, go over to inspector and go to zoom and then just, just crop in, just like that. But in my opinion, that's like the worst way to do it because then you have to do it for every single clip on your timeline and that just gets really cumbersome. So when I do this, I am just doing the other two examples that I showed you guys. All right, let's just do this with a 4K clip now. Go over to your settings and then change the 3840 by 2160 to 1644. Go to image scaling and then do center crop with no resizing, hit save and look at that you are good to go. I'm sorry that that color grade is so bad. It's really blown out. All right, a lot of people are gonna be using the red Komodo, so let's do a 6K footage. What you're gonna wanna do is go over to your settings once again, and then change the 2160 to 1644, and go to image scaling. And then what we were doing before is center crop with no resizing. Don't do that with this one. Instead, with this one, do scale full frame with crop. Hit save and that will automatically make all your clips the correct 21 by 9 ratio for widescreen. Now what is that exactly? I have two examples here. One on the left is the widescreen and then the one on the right is your regular standard like YouTube upload. So the one on the left, what you would see on mobile is that uh, there would be no black bars on the sides. It would take up your entire phone screen whereas just regular default 4K videos, they're gonna have the black bars on the side as well when you're looking on a computer. Like if I go into theater mode on here and full screen this, it's a lot wider than if I go to a regular video, go to theater mode and then full screen it, uh, it cuts off a lot. Now to get this widescreen up on YouTube, you just go down to deliver and then make sure under resolution it's set to custom 3840 by 1644 or if you're exporting 1080, it would be 1920 by uh, 800. You go to add to render queue and you render out the footage, upload it to YouTube, and YouTube will automatically make it into that widescreen ratio as long as you've followed all these steps. Now, I personally don't use this kind of ratio for any of my videos. I like to have the black bars on the top and bottom. It's just like a thing. Um, I am going to use that in a different video though. If you guys are interested in learning about how to use black bars in DaVinci Resolve, um, please follow along, like, comment. I have a lot more videos and content coming out this year. Um, and I think it would be really useful for different filmmakers. So I hope you guys had learned something today and uh, keep on filming every day, 24 seven, forever.